Hey guys, how's it going? Justine here, and this is my new TV. And I am so extremely excited about this television because I saw this at CES this year, and it was one of those things that you see at CES and you think, this is never gonna come out, it's not gonna be real, it's too cool, it's never gonna happen. And here it is, sitting in my office. I'm kind of in disbelief. So let's get a knife or something, something sharp, not too sharp. So I'm currently waiting for the installation person to come. It's about 6.30 in the morning. Got up really early because you never know when they're actually gonna show up. So I've gotta be on my guard. And I gotta get this thing unboxed before they get here. Cause what's an unboxing if I don't actually do the unboxing? Oops. Oh gosh, <laughs> I am so excited. I just set this down. Welcome. Oh boy, oh my goodness gracious. I'm a little bit concerned about this two people thing here. Should I just wait for these people to come and do this for me? So here's the thing with this TV. It is so extremely thin that it's a television that is basically meant to only be mounted on your wall. It doesn't have a stand. It's way too thin to even stand up on its own. Let's see what the accessories are. Installation, cables, manual, remote, battery. Here's our remote. What is this? Another remote. Some directions. Since I'm not installing, somebody else is probably gonna need these. So here's a bunch of the pieces that we're gonna need for installation. We've got screws, cables, stuff. I'll set this over here. What's in here? Ah, so this is very important. This is a substantial piece of cable, wow. Let's look inside. <gasps> wow. Okay, I'm, I am not gonna be able to do this. So I don't wanna break it, it's so fragile. I don't think I trust myself trying to get this out of here. This is it, right here. So in shock. This is it, look, right here. No, I shouldn't, I shouldn't do this. I think I'm gonna be responsible and let someone else more responsible do this for me. So this is the TV that's gonna be replaced. This actually was just a TV from my guest room. Here's another issue. Is this TV even gonna fit here? This is a 55 inch TV. And to be completely honest with you, I didn't actually do any measurements. So I'm not even sure if this is gonna fit on this wall. It's officially finally set up and I've had so many friends over and we've all just been sort of sitting here in awe and there's no way that I can even explain to you in this video what it looks like in real life because it looks so real. It's like you're looking into a poster. It's not even on and I'm beyond impressed. I just feel like I'm not gonna be able to do it justice in this video because I can't show you what I'm seeing with my real eyes through this camera. Like it's thinner than my iPhone. Like, how does that even work? Well, it works because the OLED screen is connected by this white cable that goes into the sound bar. And the sound bar is basically what powers the television. It has HDMI inputs where you can put your games, your TV, and whatever else you want to input into the TV, into the sound bar. It's basically like magic. Now this setup is not my final setup because the sound bar is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And clearly it does not fit on this stand. <laughs> I wanted to see what it looked like in my office before I decided to drill through the wall because I would love to get this cable hidden behind the wall and then it'll go into the sound bar. The cable isn't that obvious, but for me, I definitely want to have it hidden. So stay tuned for a future video where I can show you guys the final, final, final of my office. 
Like the speakers just rise right out of the sound bar and it is just like a magical, magical experience to sit here and just be like, oh, what are you doing? Like get, get over there, get from the side and see like, like I, I feel like these trees should just be coming out and hitting me in the eye. Oh, it smells so good. Have you compared <laughs> it to how thin it is, like to something? No, I haven't yet. What should I compare? Oh Let's compare God. it to a phone. Can you believe it? Like, it's thinner than my iPhone. Oh, jeez. Oh, Just go figure. Oh. Okay. It's probably like two or three SD cards. Two and a half SD cards. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty thin. There's also an extender cable, so if I do mount this and then I want to put this somewhere else, You've got that option, but look at this is long. So we're gonna plug in the Nintendo Switch and play some Mario Kart. So the remote control also acts as like a pointer. So look, point, check it out. I've got a pointer. Let's connect this and let's play a Mario Kart. It let's go! The new Zelda DLC's out? What? Yes! Wait, what? Yes! Wait, why didn't you tell me? Uh, I'm telling you now. Okay, I just installed the DLC. It's downloading, but now I'm gonna play some Mario Kart and do a quick little test to see what this feels like to game on. Oh yeah, 200 CC baby, let's do it! It's so fast! Where am I going? Oh, oh baby! Just disregard everything that you saw right there. A very poor performance on my part. This thing is gonna look so good on the Xbox Scorpio. <gasps> Justine, you're so dramatic. It's so perfect. <laughs> 